What's up, Jabroni? Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we're hopping into Veronica Mars, episode number 11, Silence of the Lambs. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If you have, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when the videos go live, or not live, well, premieres, and I'm live in the chat room during the premieres. I try to chat with you guys, hang out, give you guys my opinions on stuff that I didn't, that I might have missed during the reaction. Uh, so hang, in, uh, hang out in there, see if you think, uh, if you uh, engage with me and stuff like that. But nonetheless, um, yeah, it's pretty late over here, so I'm going to try to rush through this intro, but uh, you can get episodes over on Patreon. Um, I might have introduced a dollar tier at this point. I don't know. There might be a dollar tier that'll get you epi the episodes a little bit early, as well as uh, fully uncut, unedited. Check it out. Maybe I did that. Maybe I didn't. I don't know at this point. Um, you can get episodes super early for context sake. This is episode 11 currently on YouTube. It's episode four. Maybe so it's like a six episode uh, ahead over there on Patreon. Last episode was really good. It's the one where boys father got shot shit, or stabbed. Shit went crazy. That last episode was probably the best episode of the series thus far. So we're gonna check it out. Hop in here. Have a good time. Pretty much. Here we go. They're crazy strict. They grounded me for two months for smoking up in my room. Apparently you've never spent time in a black woman's house. Be glad you're still walking. Yeah, well, they he act was, like they were always perfect. He was and getting high in his bedroom, so and he surprised his parents got mad. Sure, you can handle the truth. I had a call. Madison. Some you look mad, Swift familiar. Where do I know this guy from? Party of the year. It's been a long time, Keith. He's kind of been. I, I think he's been waiting. Good to see you. I wish it were under better circumstances. Sit down. What about what's tomorrow? Pumps. Today I go back to work at the sheriff's department. My normal hourly. And Lamb agreed to this. His head didn't explode. The mayor didn't give him a choice. And the closest thing they have to an E-string strangler authority. And Bless America. Well, did that shit say Aaron Paul? Hey, if is you're that the Aaron office, Paul? You'll have access to the Lily Kane files. I don't care what they say about you, Veronica Mars. You rock. You give dirt on parents. What the fuck is happening? Is this like a th this is like a thing? Okay. Crazy ass rich kids. Two thousand and two, respectively. Next same mo. So he kills them with the guitar. Hey, Schmidt. It's a signature. His New mark. girl. The girls are asphyxiated. Shut up. To a pro skier, she met on spring break. These rich, Andrew, these rich kids are gonna characters. blackmail their parents. And she had an alt. And she calls me boy crazy. Or. You just made my year. I don't know about blackmail. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. Actually, they're probably gonna. I don't know. Hey, according to this. They won a million dollar lawsuit against Neptune Memorial Hospital in 92. No way. Your parents That's are loaded? Be a mistake. Hello, sleuth prowess. Come on, they hate lawyers and they never even go near the hospital. You want me to look into it? Yeah. I was expecting something like, woman accidentally receives pig heart. But no, I have to find out the one thing that can completely wreck Mac's life. How do you live a normal life once you find out you were switched at birth? Holy shit, dude. Hello, That's insane. Oh Final man. Pack. So what's up? You looking for a band to play the policeman's ball? <laughs> I'm looking for a murderer. <laughs> Found this guitar string tied around the neck of his last victim. Is there anything special about it? Did you kill anyone this week? <laughs> <laughs> Basic guitar string. <laughs> Same as any other string. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is that mouse? Bet you the criminals in town are shaking in their boots knowing you're on the case. Strapping on a guitar. Does it get rid of feelings of inadequacy? Just strapping on a gun? Oh, good comeback, bro. Hey, got a minute? Do you tell? I don't think I do. I. Ho, ho, ho. It is big. Like life-altering big so you should really think about if you want to hear it or if you'd rather just forget it and go on with your life and may i suggest option b another baby girl born a day after you were and your biological parents took her home another girl born a day after me oh fuck. i switched at birth with Madison Sinclair? You were bartending Friday night at Body Shots when Amy Polk. <laughs> Holy dude. 
The fucking her. preppy rich girl? I mean, you're kind of rich too, just not as rich as them. 16 year old daughter. Cool. 16 year old daughter? That's my daughter. Wouldn't mind having to call me daddy. What? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sit down. What the fuck? Oh, that's nasty, bro. She's super young. Among us, no sandwich is safe. I tell you what, if you promise to come back and visit me, I will stay out of the fridge. Do they, do yeah. they not understand how old Veronica is? Oh my, Deputy Leo. You might as well leave me a key and a map. What about the guys who had Veronica 16? Oh. I think he's got a video rental. Yeah. Is he recording or is he banging? Oh, he's banging. Yeah, Aaron you? Paul! We need to ask you a few questions. You recognize her? No. Upper. Where is she? It'll be fine. Okay, so she's not rich. She's just well off. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I came to celebrate your birth, but these two just want to hook up. I mean, who invited <laughs> you? That would be Seth Russell from History. No, it was Adam Bunting. Adam Bunting, isn't that the guy that looks like the Bible? No, no, that's Adam Hammond. She hates her regular yeah. parents. Would she yeah. love these parents? Like Damn, I don't know. How would you feel about this? would be crazy, dude. Can't even imagine. Like. Hi. Sister. Hi. He didn't see me, huh? Why didn't they just trade us back? We would have gotten over it eventually. Suppose they got kind of attached in those first four years. They should have figured it out Whoa, way before then. Four years At later? At two, I was spitting out corn dogs and tuning the radio to NPR. The strings from Maddie's guitar match the strings left on the victims. Well, I mean, the guy said all the strings match, right? Oh, uh, what I'm trying to say is this uniform, it's, it's a tear away. <laughs> <Hello>? <laughs> Is anyone back there? Um. Hello. Oh, this is part of the distraction. I need to talk to someone about the noise level in my neighborhood, which is truly out of control. <laughs> I mean, you got modus byproduct of the evil practices of Kane Song. I know who killed the Kane girl. His name is Abel Coots. He lives in a houseboat on the marina. Huh? If I tell you, can I go home? Okay. It's definitely. Here you are, buddy. Start writing. We'll see. Don, can I talk to you a sec? You got it for me, Eddie. Is it a page turner? Smart bastard. I'll talk to you later. So the dad just invested for it? Like, I mean, not invested, he just... It. <clears throat> you have a sibling though that's the one thing that kills me it's like if there were no siblings then maybe but you have a sibling she has a sibling so i could make you a sandwich or you know i i should probably go mom knows it was nice to... i'm guessing the mom probably is like Are you kept sure? tabs on her maybe like look at her like watched her or something And when your kid sucks, what do you do? <laughs> oh, he, she's with the... she with the deputy guy? He's like, I don't know. I think she might be with the deputy guy. Holy shit. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Dad, <laughs> everyone. Dad. <laughs> Do this yourself? Yeah, we were getting a lot of noise complaints from the neighbors. We follow Veronica back to the sheriff's department. Yeah, I'm not That's putting it together right now. Checking out ever more guitars, probably nothing. The guitar place? Sunday. Ducks the girl Friday, disposes of the body Sunday night. Oh, weird ass scene. What a weird ass cut edit there. Why is she in here? Huh? 
Okay, cool. Okay. Did not see that coming. Now, or I will shoot you. Same old story. Girl uses boy. Girl falls for boy. Boy saves girl's dad's life. Girl gets what she deserves. Yeah? It's me. Are you busy? No. I'm suddenly very free. You just try it one more time. His name is Abel Coons. He lives in a houseboat on the marina. Stop. Who's that? I know who it is. <laughs> weird. That's a weird scene, the touching of the gun. That's weird. That's it's not. Or the thing we can have a conversation. Cindy, what are you doing? How this package arrived? How's this? I want to find out who paid to have it sent here today. You send target photos of me to my mom. You call in the Abel Kuntz tip. Two words for you, Clarence Weedman. Game on. Have we seen him before? Have we seen him before? I gotta see. That was okay. That was weird. That was weird, right? So I got several, several questions, which will probably alter my score in some way. Number one. The cliffhanger for the last episode was our the um one jackass's father getting stabbed. That was the cliffhanger. This episode has nothing to do with that. Not even a little bit. That's how do you? <clears throat> and then they introduced the big reveal. Me thinking it's gonna be somebody we heard. It was that guy. What? That was. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was let down by that. Not by the episode, by the reveal. Have we. Have we ever established that's that security guard? That felt weird. That felt weird. I thought it was gonna be this guy. It was weird, right? I'm not like losing, like I'm not crazy. There were a couple weird things. There were some weird choices in this episode. Weird, weird choices. I don't know. I'm gonna keep. I, I, I honestly believe the director or editor of this show was not very good. <laughs> I feel like I feel that there are there are times where the episode does choices and takes goes into like. Right. I don't know. That was weird. Like I was, I was so into the crimes, right? I was so into this, this, this crime that was happening, but I can't even think of what the fuck that reveal. He shot it like they shot it like we were supposed, like we were supposed to know. That scene was like shot and edited like we were supposed to know that person. And I'm like, I have no fucking clue who that guy is. You like. Am I like, am I like off my rocker here? Like, am I way off on, I, I don't know. I'm just confused. Like I was really into the, ep it's, it, this felt like two episodes or the reveal, like the reveal was so crazy. I had, I had, I, that's what I was looking. I was like, did I skip an episode? I don't understand what the fuck happened. Like, I was going to go for straight eight. But there was some, I'm just, we got no indication on what the hell happened with Homeboy's dad. Nothing with the Christmas episode that we had. Then the reveal was weird. There was no satisfactory reveal with the mom or, like, the girl. Like, there was just her kind of accepting it, which I guess you can look at that as, like, I was, like, Weird man, that was weird. Um, 
I'm I was gonna give it an eight, but I'm gonna have to give it a seven just out of pure what the fuck? Why? <laughs> like honestly. Um but let's go through the episode. Um so the episode starts off Veronica's at uh, oh yeah, there's a strangler around on the loose. Uh, some person's killing girls again. Um the dad put said he said a long time ago when he was like a, a sheriff that he believed that the person that they got arrested wasn't that person, but the mayor needed it to look good on his resume, whatever, or look good for the public. Then again, is that guy out of jail now? Maybe I'm just used to like other procedurals and the way that they handle things, which is why this episode felt so weird with the reveals of everything. Um, so let's see. So the dad is worried, like, you know, he's like, he, 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 he knew he, he said he was right. He figured that the person that killed um, the girl, the blonde girls or whatever, the college party girls, he knew that the person that was arrested wasn't the person. He was right. At school, we've got some random kid and he's all like, Hey man, my parents suck. I was smoking weed upstairs and they got mad. I want to blackmail them or I don't know what was it. What was, what were they grabbing? What were they going to do with this information? Like, like, let's say, let's say you were a, let's say you were a teen, like a teenager, right? And you know, your, your parents are on your back. You're like, they're like always giving you shit. If you bring them evidence that they were crazy teenagers, is that going to change the punishment you get? Hey, Dad, you got caught trying to sell or buy an eight ball back in the day. You're you were just crazy like me. You are a hypocrite. They could just come back with the well, yeah, and I learned things. Like you know, what I mean, like, what do these kids, these rich kids, think is like, think is gonna happen? <laughs> like, as it was happening, I'm like, are they gonna? Uh, that's, why, that's why that's why my mind went to, are they gonna blackmail their parents? But then I was like, no, this information would be out there. But then I just started thinking, what are they going to use this information for? Just to know? Okay. Or were they actually getting dirt that they, the kids can use? Um, nonetheless, this blonde girl's having a party. The girl from like episode two. Um, and she's having a party. We get the mayor, um, the new sheriff in dad's office. We'll talk about that murder. The murder is back on the serial killer. Um... When that happens, we then get the dad. They're going to need him on the case. He's going to be working at the mayor's office for a while. So he solves the case. Uh, let's skip around. Um, Veronica starts to help the kids out. She's getting a bunch of kids asking for information, details on, you know, blackmailing their parents. Or the, what did the one girl say? The dirt on their parents. Again, I thought it was blackmail, but I don't think, I don't know what they were actually. Maybe it was blackmail. And you're going to blackmail your parents? Just dirt to throw it in their face. You were bad too. Um. Then we got this one girl, which we actually never came back to. This she wants to. Um, she wants to use um, Veronica's skills and make a lot of money off. Of it. Veronica should think about it, but we never hear back about that. They introduce that and then never bring it back up. So, um, whatever. Then we get introduced to her saying that she wants to know dirt on her her parents. She wants to know about their past. We found out about a million dollars from a hospital. Girl mentions that their parents never go to the hospital. The strangler was killing the girls with a guitar string. So we go to this guitar shop. Did they explain why we came to this guitar shop? I don't know. And think of why we came to this guitar shop. Then we talk about the string, and then the guy's like, "It's like every other string, man." Okay. This guy was really weird, really awkward. This is where I was talking about just some of the directing choices. Like, where the director told him to act like a moron. Okay. He had a cool comeback. Veronica finds out what the deal is with the girl. Like I, I enjoyed what I enjoyed what the case was like what, what both cases were the both missions that were, were both like situations that were happening, it was just like there was just a, some really poor execution that I was like but why, 
Um, all right, so Veronica finds out the little girl, the girl's secret. She actually was swapped at birth. I thought was a big fucking reveal. Like, oh shit, that's crazy. She was swapped at birth. The parents sued the hospital for a million dollars. I don't know, man. Million dollars seems like you got ripped off, man. You should sue for way more than that. That's emotional distress. That's like a bunch of shit. Um, yeah, we got introduced to some barkeeper guy or some bar guy who wants to bang Veronica, who's seventeen. At the end, I gotta hear what they said at the end because I don't know. Uh, Veron like, Veronica tries to tell the girl that you know maybe you don't want to know this, and then I'm like, I'm in the situation where I'm like, if I was Veronica, would I tell her? I don't know, because that can just drastically change your mindset on everything. Would would I tell her? I don't know if I would. Most of you guys think I would. I don't know. Um. All right, moving on. We are bar scene. We get Schmidt. From new girl here, the new deputy, he's 20. Monica uses her flirty charm to essentially get what she wants. Keys. Let's see. Then meet Aaron Paul, who I'm going to be 100% was wasted here. I don't know what year this is, so maybe Aaron, Aaron I mean, clearly Aaron Paul was a nobody, but he did nothing in this. Nothing. He had a weird, awkward scene opening the door, and that was it. Um, the other thing with the girl, then we end up at this party, start looking around, and at the, at this point, I'm in that, hmm, okay, I'm, there, her life is better than mine, parents seem cooler than mine, but I'm not, like, at the point where I'm, like, I'm gonna destroy her life, or destroy my parents' life, you know what I mean? Then you see that she has a sister, who is very similar to you, in your mind. What do you do? Do you tell? Do not tell. Personally, I'd probably be like, I wouldn't tell. What I thought was going to happen, I thought I would like the, the, the parents would know, but then you'd hang out with like the other parents, like just hanging out. And that way you don't tell, like, there was a better solution for this episode with the endings. A better solution for every single ending. <laughs> that's where I'm at. That's why I'm at this weird place. In this episode, every situ every case ended like like not well. I just did not enjoy the endings. So, um, we meet the sister. Sisters like you read all this stuff. We are investigating here about the um the guy with the tapes who records the Aaron Paul character. Veronica's flirting with one boy. Steals the keys. Finds the voice modulator thingy. Aaron Paul's character has some emotional things. Again, no advantage of Darren Paul. And we we establish him needing a lawyer. Could be cool. But no. After this scene, we don't see Aaron Paul again. And I don't even think he's mentioned again. So, you know, thumbs up for that. Uh, then we see the mom. You get, I like the way that this was shocked. It's like, ooh, the mom knows. The mom maybe knows. Then we get to meet the blonde stuck up bitch. Bitchy. Uh, I gotta see this thing. The, okay, so this scene was garbage. I mean, not garbage, but it wasn't good. The scene where the mom walks in, like, it took him, he killed the first two victims, and then he went along, stretched. Where you got the next victim, and then the, the like the day we solved the case, a mom walks in and is like, "My daughter's missing, and if she doesn't find her, I'm gonna blame you." That, that's it. It wasn't. It wasn't set up well. Like it wasn't set. I got maybe I'm just maybe I've been spoiled with other TV shows. Somebody help me, please. It wasn't set up well. I thought maybe it was gonna turn to something cool. Okay. Still. Still okay. Still okay. Ma'am, I'm sure she's all right. What's going on here? Then this thing going on here. His hands are just on the side. Her daughter's missing. Like, it's just, it's just very poorly shot. Like, where, like, this was like a reshoot and none of the actors wanted to be here. The Strangler's got her. I know he does. If you don't find her, I will hold you responsible. 
What? Oh, what? What a what a horrible line. If you don't find her, I will hold you responsible. What a, what a dumb line. And then we're like, then this entire like two minute scene is what made the episode feel very like not great. All of you. Um. Okay. Just poorly directed scene. He looks like a ham. Were you leaving? He's like, uh, I was, but now I'm not because your case isn't solved. And the other you cops walk in. You're out. Yeah, well, that was before I knew there was another girl missing. We got the test results back from the writing in the victim's palm. They're the writing on the victim's palm. The girl put together a seven digit number. It belongs to Vic Scarafa. The girl put a seven digit number. She got the bartender's Bar number. From body shots. Who's out in the field? Hey, Mark and Jones. Send them to his apartment. Already did. He's not there. His car isn't in the carport. Every actor right now is underacting a lot. <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. It's just very poorly shot. This these like two minutes here. Then I thought it was funny and kind of cool that Veronica's father is freaking out. Like, where are you? Where are you? Because you know, because the serial killer or like the guy that he that they thought was a killer, the um, the bartender guy said he'll be like I'd like her to call me daddy, right? So, okay, that's cool. But then the dad, then the dad isn't really thinking though, because he's because the the killer killed one girl, already kidnapped another, and you think he's going to kidnap Veronica as well? Because he's mad at you? Well, maybe I guess. Because that's not too far fetched. You do it out of vengeance. He gets there, kicks in the door. Fun scene. Funny scene. Dad, everyone, everyone. I didn't understand how we. I didn't understand. We follow Veronica back to the sheriff's apartment. Yeah. Want to see the scene again? Want to see the scene again? He looks at the foaming stuff, like the noise, the plate stuff do this yourself yeah we were getting a lot of noise complaints from the neighbors from that from that he puts it together in his brain that it was the guy at the music is there anything established here that let's see what exactly was said here because show up to collect rewards you find that i am checking out evermore guitars probably nothing checking out evermore guitar probably nothing Saturday and sunday okay Checks the bill friday disposes of the body sunday night okay In theory at least what do you want to do i don't understand I'm trying really hard to figure this out how did we, why, why him? Why do we think, is this next to the bar? Is, is this place located okay, next to the bar? Find a way in. <laughs> what is it? Wristband from body shots. Am I crazy? Am I missing something here? Is this place next to the bar? Maybe this place is next to the bar. I'm going to assume this place is next to the bar. And therefore, that's how he's assuming any of this. We'll go with that. Um, nonetheless, the guy comes in. It's him no. fighting. Not fighting. Attack. Schmidt tackles him. Then we have a situation where he's getting in trouble because somebody, he left the evidence locker open. But Veronica did that. And he figures out it was Veronica. Veronica gives a whole like the boy, lose the boy situation. We do the voice. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying about the endings, right? The endings to me just came out of nowhere and made little to no sense. Like there was no build up to the endings that we got. No build up to the ending at that guy. Like he was like, we went, oh, it was the bartender, the phone number. He didn't go establish that it wasn't him. Veronica's dad just jumped to the conclusion that it was the other guy. No real reason other than he's in a band 
and he has padding. Man, I was really into this episode until the ending, man. Last like five to ten minutes really shit the bed for me, man. Oh man. Uh, Veronica's doing the voice thing. I'm thinking, ooh, reveal time. No. And the reveal was nobody we knew. And they even shot that like it was gonna be somebody we knew. Um, they did already pass that part. Or not yet. Um, then we have the cool. I thought this was nice, and like I thought this was cool because I kind of figured the mom knew. She's been watching, but then we have a very awkward scene where the mom does some weird palm thing. I don't. That was weird, right? Like, I'm not like insane here. I'm not crazy. Like, what is that? I don't get it. I don't get it. Why? What a weird scene. This was a really good episode that was just... Man, I felt like the, the, the writer was like, I'm running out of time. We'll just... I may be way off base. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Um, and then they look at the way that this is shot. They shoo him from like the shoulders down, right? They're obscuring his face. So you're like, ooh, who's it gonna be? Like, it's gonna be somebody we know, right? Ooh, big reveal, big reveal. This package arrived. Messenger. I want to find out who paid to have it sent here today. You sent. Do we know him? I I will one hundred percent be like maybe we maybe we know him maybe it's me maybe I just completely forgot about this guy I know him from Martin <laughs> right it was Martin no it was Jane Fox show I know him from that show ha has he shown up in this show I don't think so I could be wrong though or maybe the review isn't actually the him. Maybe the reveal is this. Two words for you, Clarence Weedman. She says the name. And then Veronica says she knows him. And did we meet you, brother? Did we meet him? I don't know. Maybe the reveal is maybe the reveal is meant to be that he works at Kane Security. Uh, how do I don't know. How do you judge an episode that you were like I was really into and I was going with an eight? And then they dropped the ball for me with the ending. What do I give it? I was entertained the entire time. And, so, and then the end. That's what I'm at. So I was entertained. I was engaged. I was into it. And then the ending happened. I'm going to give it a seven. I'm going to give it a seven. Because. 30. 35 minutes of the episode. I was into it. I was digging it. There were a few scenes that I was kind of like. But Why? I was digging it. And then the last like seven to ten minutes, I'm just like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> um Yeah, well there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's my reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Um if you want the next episode early, head over to Patreon. Listen in the description for a bunch of different stuff. Check it out, see what you think. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna talk to you guys later.